everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video I'm excited to do, I'm gonna be talking about eyeshadow palettes I almost bought, but I didn't. Do I regret it? Am I okay with it? Am I still gonna buy some of these? I don't know, I'm gonna tell you though. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, welcome. So I always start off with my outfit of the day. So today I have on um, these jean shorts. I picked these up from Target and then I'm not exactly sure where I got either of my tops from. I've had them for a while and I have on my new Hermes sandals that I bought when Angie was here. But uh, I actually just finished up with a live chat. So I did a live get ready with me on this look that went up yesterday. I've been going live on Saturday mornings if you're interested in stopping by for a live chat. But I went live and did this look here. I do always link all of my makeup down below and we are having like a little picnic vibe situation happening with the complex today. So I ran up to eat after I did my live chat and then I came back down so I could film this video. And uh, then I'm gonna go back up and just play some games and things like that. So I don't know, like the checkered shirt kind of remind, like it was like picnic vibes, right? Like I walked in and the coordinator was like, I love that you're always on theme. I'm like, me too, it's like one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> I love getting dressed up and like if there's a theme, like I just, I love it even more. So the yellow made me happy and yeah, like I said, I always link everything down below if you're curious about anything. If you are new here, welcome. I hope that you will subscribe. I love to chat about makeup, I try makeup and just talk about all things beauty. And this video came from, I do my new makeup releases series every Wednesday. I talk over all the new makeup releases and I see that I get a lot of comments of people saying they almost want like a follow-up from the videos like i said i wanted to buy something did i end up buying it that sort of thing and so i was thinking about what i could do for that video because i have my regret series which i'm going to throw this under the regret series playlist obviously i do hauls and reviews so you know if i have bought something you'll know my thoughts on it but i thought for the products that i said i was thinking about buying but i didn't buy we could just do a video on that and i actually had a decent amount of eyeshadow palettes got my list here on my by Samantha Marge Sticky Notes. I had quite a few eyeshadow palettes so I thought I could make that its own video because people especially seem to love talking about eyeshadow palettes and I've been all about eyeshadow palettes recently. I have the new mod on today. I have so many new palettes to review. That should be the next video. I'm going to be uh, talking about all the eyeshadow palettes that I've been trying recently because there's just been so many. So that is where this video idea came from. If Again, if you have any other video ideas that you wanna see from me, please always just let me know in the comments and I'm happy to do them. So I'm gonna scoot over just a touch because I am gonna add in a few photos since I do not have any of these eyeshadow palettes. But I was going through my Will I Buy It series and seeing what I was saying and what I was chatting about. And one of the first palettes that came up was the Natasha Denona Mini Crush. And what's so funny, I'm looking at this picture of the Mini Crush and I'm like, I think I have that one. Do I have that one? Like I have so many Natasha palettes. I'm like, I, I get confused sometimes. I had to glow, go in my closet. I was thinking of the mini love. So the mini love and the mini crush. And that's what I had said in the video that it reminded me of the mini love. So I just didn't really feel like I had to have it. Now the mini palettes from Natasha are only $25. I don't think that's a bad price at all. These are some of my favorite palettes. I own so many of these. The mini nude has massive pan in there. Like. I love these palettes. I love that they're $25. Like I don't feel super guilty for recommending them and I get so much use out of them. But I felt like this one and the mini crush were just too similar. It just didn't make sense for me to buy it. Plus I have the larger palettes. I have the mini palettes in retro and love. Like I'm pretty covered. I love, you know, I have, like I said, I have the new mod on today. I love the rosy tones. I love the mauvey tones. I think it's so beautiful. I love purple. I felt like I was pretty covered. I didn't feel like I had to purchase the mini crush. So for that one, I really don't feel regrets about it. I, I don't feel like I'm missing something in my eyeshadow palette collection. Like I'm good with that one. Next up on my list, the Glam Light Hershey Kiss palette. Is this one still available? I felt I was looking at some of them last night. I feel like I did not look at the Glam Light Hershey Kiss. Hold please. So looking at the website, yeah, it looks like they're pretty much all still in stock. So for this collection, they had, that was Aries if you heard her, making herself known. They had a handful of different palettes. I'm still, uh, okay. So I'm still kind of thinking about this one. They're only $18 for the different palettes and 
you know obviously the purple one is really pretty like I said I like the purples I purchased the glam light dirty martini and I was going back and forth between the dirty martini and the purple one in the collection which I can't think of what it was called right now and I ended up going with the green so the special dark palette has the more purples in there and that's really pretty and it's only $18 and I could throw in the makeup sponge which is $8 this is one that I was going back and forth a lot in, in the Will I Buy It video, and then eventually I ended up not going for it, but I'm kind of still thinking about it. I I was really, really impressed with the Glam Light Dirty Martini. I've talked about that palette so much on my channel. The formula really impressed me. The, you know, the shape of the palette kind of throws me off a little bit. I don't... Like, I like it because I get it. Like, the Hershey Kiss, like, that's super cute. The bag that it comes in, like, the presentation, same with the Dirty Martini. It came in a Dirty Martini bottle that I point behind me because it's in this bathroom as, like, decor. I think that's super fun. And the purples do look beautiful. Again, it's like, I have so many eyeshadow palettes right now that I've just bought or just received, and I'm trying to get through so many of them, but here I am, like, I don't know, I still kind of want to pick it up, and I kind of want to throw in a sponge at the same time, because it's shaped like a Hershey Kiss. I might just do it. Ah, uh, this video is going to be a dangerous one, isn't it? Whoa. Next up is not an eyeshadow palette, but it's an eye product. This is from Danessa Myricks. They're Infinite Chrome Flakes. They say the multi-chrome gel for eyes and face. These are $25. There's also a handful of shades at Sephora. Now, let me, to tell you what it is, in case you haven't heard of them, an innovative, self-setting, water-based gel formula with suspended, multicolored, multi-chrome flakes. When I first read about these, I was very intrigued by them, and then the day that they launched, it was just on the Danessa Myricks website, and the majority of the shades sold out right away. By the time I was on the website and looking at them, all of the shades that I was thinking I was going to get were already sold out. I don't always buy new makeup when it releases right away, like even with the Glam Light, like I'm like, oh, I'm still kind of thinking about that, and that was months ago that it came out, but it's still, it's like if you still think about something and you still want it, you know, sometimes you can feel, I don't know if I want to say like less guilty, but it's like, oh, I still wanted that. I'm still thinking about it. I'm going to buy it. And I was like, okay, you know, that's a bummer. But then I was like, oh, could I really have figured out how to use, you know, I say that with Danessa Myers is like, sometimes I don't know if I can like use her products the best. With me and my makeup style, and I'm a little bit more on the, the simpler side. And you know, today I have two eyeshadows on my eyes. I don't, I like to play with color, but I'm not super bold or I don't really like mix up a lot of different techniques i like kind of more monochromatic colors things like that so i was like oh you know it's a little bit outside of my comfort zone i just i thought that it sounded fun and then they became available on sephora and when i realized that they were available on sephora i went and i think there was a sale happening or something was happening on that time and a bunch of them sold out again and i was like maybe we're just not meant to be maybe it's just like a sign of like you probably wouldn't be able to figure it out girl like it's okay like just leave it alone i just thought they looked really neat what they have been like in every day type of product for me probably not i looked at some of the photos and i thought these are really neat and i was looking at some of them on the eyes and i thought that would be cool and a way to mix up looks here and again and i was picturing doing like one eyeshadow all over the lid and then just putting these on and having something like i like to do like fun eyeshadow looks but ones that like it looks like it took more time than it did or more shadows than it did or something and i just thought that i could get it with that as I'm looking at it on the Sephora site now, almost all of them are back in stock. It looks like just one of them is out of stock. $25, I mean, I feel like I wouldn't be shocked if still, like, one of these ended up in my cart at one point, so it could still happen. Has anyone tried these, though? I would love to get your feedback. Next up, the palette is from Dominique Cosmetics, and this is the Moment Palette. So this retailed for $49, and this one, you know, I think the blue packaging kind of made me automatically want to say like oh it's more of like a blue palette and i don't wear blues all that often but really to me it looks more when you actually kind of take away the packaging which like i get it like my eyes focus on that for sure there's two blue shades in here but there's a lot of neutrals and browns and golds it's a really pretty palette i've tried other dominique cosmetics palettes and i like the formula i think i've decluttered all of them i don't think there's any more in my collection it wasn't a palette or a formula that I was like, this is a favorite of mine. I'm going to need all of these. But I was like, 
this is good I like this so when I saw this one once I realized it wasn't actually like a blue palette it just has the pops of blue in it I was like I bet that I could do some pretty neutrals look with it but you know $49 again I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes this is one that I skipped over and I'm like it's okay I feel like if I would have bought it maybe if I was on like an eyeshadow palette kind of like lull at the moment I was like okay I need you know something new I need to be talking about the new things on YouTube maybe I would have gotten it and I probably wouldn't have regretted the purchase and I would have used it but it's not one of those that I'm like oh I'm still thinking about getting this one I'm like it's okay if I just admire you from afar. You know, did anyone grab that one? Next up from Dose of Colors, I have the Baked Browns 2 eyeshadow palette. So these are, we're getting into a little bit more recent releases now. And for the Baked Browns 2, I was curious when I saw this come out because what I was saying in the Will I Buy It video was it looks like Dose of Colors is doing some sort of like rebrand. I was instantly kind of interested in the Baked Browns 2, but I had had the Baked Browns. I had so many. I had the Marvelous Mobs, the Baked Browns, Sassy siennas i mean i had so many of them the cool what was the cool toned cool tone brown one i had that one i had so many of the five pan monochromatic palettes and i really think especially marvelous moss was my first one i think that was when i first discovered my love for monochromatic looks for colorful looks you know the purples and the mauves but monochromatic like i think it was back in those days that i really discovered my love for that and again, you know, over the years, and they were very used, my Marvelous Moths had a big pan in the second shade. Uh, I ended up decluttering them. And then it seemed like Dose of Colors didn't really have a lot going on for a while. They weren't releasing a lot of new products. They weren't releasing at a regular rate. And I kind of wondered like what was going to go on with the brand, you know, after 2020, it was kind of like, it felt like nothing was safe anymore. Right. So I was like, Oh, I wonder what's going on with the brand. And now they're kind of doing this, this rebranding and they're coming out with some new products. But the first one was the Baked Browns too. And when I saw it, I was excited about it. And I was like, Ooh, should I grab it? Like I I'm excited about this. I'm excited to see if Dose of Colors is doing more. Are they going to be coming out with a Marvelous Mobs too? I ended up saying no to the Baked Browns too. Cause I was like, all right, you technically had something really similar to that. You have these other eyeshadow palettes. It'll be okay. But then they did release the Golden Hour palette. Has my hair been like this the whole time? It is so windy in Vegas. Friends, squad, you gotta tell me when my hair is messed. How many of you were probably yelling at your computers? Samantha, your hair! I'm telling you, the wind in Las Vegas is very annoying. But the Golden Hour palette came out and I, I could not... I could not resist this one. So I did end up buying this. So I'm happy that I didn't buy the Baked Browns 2 right away because it was like, I think it was just the very next week in my next Will I Buy It video um, that I talked about the Golden Hour and I did end up purchasing this. I have a look with this on my Instagram, which is March Beauty Word. So if you'd want to see how I did a look with that, I do a video series every month where I rank all of the eyeshadow palettes that I've tried this month. So for the month of April, that will go up at the beginning of May. I will include this palette. It's beautiful. I really do like the Dose of Colors formula. It comes with a double-ended brush in here as well. I love a good neutral brown moment. I love a smoky brown eye moment. These shimmers in here are really beautiful. One is more of a pressed glitter and then this shimmer shade is really just super stunning um so that's beautiful i use that all over the eyes so i'm happy that i didn't go with the baked browns and that i went with the golden hour because i feel like it's different from what i had before and i like that there's some of the shimmers in there it's not just like the five mattes even though i love mattes but i love the addition the addition of the shimmers in there as well so it worked out it worked out the next one that i have is from artist couture and this is the supreme mauve eyeshadow palette this was another one that I still, like I kind of wish that I would have picked it up, but it came out as so many other palettes were releasing. I ended up buying the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2 eyeshadow palette. I have a look with that one here on YouTube. I still do need to see if I can get to Sephora to exchange it. My last week was a little bit on the crazy side if you follow me on Instagram or if you caught my YouTube live uh, from yesterday, I kind of explained what all was going on with me last week. but. Um, I still need to see if I can exchange that because one of the shades was broken, but that was, what is that? A $68 palette. So there was just a lot of palettes coming out all at once. And I bought the golden hour. I had a couple in PR that I was trying to test out like the new mod, the, the palette from Hindash. Like there was just, I, I, once again, I think if there would have been a little bit of a lull between eyeshadow palettes, I probably would have ended up purchasing the Supreme Mobs. Not to say that I won't still buy it, but it's, 
sometimes I just feel very overwhelmed because I feel like I have so many videos that I need to get out and so many looks I need to get out and so many reviews I need to get out and I'm only one person with two eyes and it's um, like I'm trying my best to get them all up in, in a somewhat timely manner and I just sometimes can get a little bit overwhelmed. I like my reviews to be helpful like I, I don't love doing just one look with an eyeshadow palette and then telling you what I think about it. I feel like I need to do at least like I try to do at least three before I say that I'm like actually reviewing a product um, versus just like showing it or doing a first impression or something like that because I want to be the most helpful. I still have that sense. As a reviewer, that's how I started in social media. I still have that desire to have my reviews be helpful and not have my reviews just be able to get me more views. And I, I, I don't want to say that in a negative way, but I actually made a, a TikTok video on that recently. And, you know, I saw someone say, oh, a good thing to do as an influencer is to review a product, but don't like say what it is. Don't say what brand it's from because then people will have to ask you what it is and then that will give you more comments and that will drive up the views. And unfortunately, that's just the way social media is this day. I mean, that's what happens when industries evolve and, and change and everything. But as someone who started in the early days and the desire for doing this was because we wanted to help people and be the most helpful and give you the most amount of information, that's why I make 30 minute videos. Because when I see that, like, review a foundation but don't tell people your skin type so they have to ask what it is and it drives more views. I'm like, ah. I get it, industries change and you gotta do what you gotta do to try to keep up now but I just like to be able to try products for a longer period of time so if I add too much to my plate at one time, I don't feel like my reviews are being as genuine or sincere as I want them to be. That's kind of what happened with the Supreme Mobs. I wanted to try more from Artist Couture. I had mentioned them in the video where I've only tried one product from a brand and if I would try them again. And I would mentioned Artist Couture and I said, you know, I would like to try them again and especially their eyeshadows because I do hear good things about them. I think if I just didn't have so many palettes on my plate right now to review, I would have picked that one up. But never say never, I might still grab it. And then lastly, got the Dose of Colors Truffle Palette. So I just, this was in my, was it my, yes, it was my most recent Will I Buy It video. I talked about the Dose of Colors Truffle Palette. So again, Dose of Colors, they've been coming out with new products. I'm very excited about this. The Truffle Lipstick from Dose of Colors was all the rage back Back in the day, I remember hunting down that one too and just wearing that liquid lipstick and feeling so fly and like I was a part of the in crowd. It was it was awesome. Nearly, the, the title of that video was like, I almost stopped filming to buy this because I realized as I was filming that it had gone for sale that day. And I'm truly pulling up the Dose of Colors website in that video, like, should I buy this? Should I buy this? And you really kind of see as a consumer, my thought process of do I buy this, do I not buy this? And the thing that held me back was that it was limited edition and I don't love limited edition. I am I am not someone who goes out and buys stuff right away because it's limited edition. I actually don't love it as much because then it's gone and people can't get it. I can't share where I got it because it's not available anymore and people want it and then it's just, it makes me not want to wear limited edition products on camera as much. I saw it was limited edition, that kind of threw me off. And then again, I had just bought the Golden Hour. All the other palettes that I just mentioned that I'm that I was trying to review and I was like <sighs> and I asked in the video you know if I get a lot of comments from people saying that you really want to see this palette let me know and then I will say Wednesday morning 8 a.m. I had a dental appointment I got my fillings replaced and was in pain the rest of the day couldn't smile couldn't open my mouth was trying to like shove a spoon in between my lips to try to eat some soup to get some sort of nutrients in my body it was a rough day and i wasn't reading the comments all that closely <laughs> i'm not gonna lie i was mostly just laying in bed and feeling bad for myself when i went in on thursday and i was trying to like catch up and see what was going on i did see a few comments saying that they wanted to see it but i didn't feel like i saw an overwhelming amount and it could be because i missed the majority of the comments from that procedure so you'll have to let me know because that's still another one so what i got the glam light hershey kiss i'm still thinking about the danessa chrome flakes the artist couture and the dose so over half that's great over half of the products that i mentioned in this video i'm still considering buying 
So, well, that about sums me up. So let me know your thoughts on the Dose of Color Shuffle or if you picked it up or if you would still like to see it. Also, I'm still very curious to see what Dose of Colors does too. And I'm wondering if we'll have like an announcement this week of maybe another eyeshadow palette, the Marvelous Mobs too, something like that. Like, I just wonder what it is that they're doing. I'm curious to see the direction the brand's going. But if you want to see it, definitely let me know. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. <laughs> let me know your thoughts on this one. And if you like kind of this style for my regret series and kind of focusing on the eyeshadow palettes and again if you have any other videos that you'd like to see from me definitely do just let me know but curious to know are there any, any eyeshadow palettes that you were considering getting and you didn't and you're still kind of like mm, you're still kind of thinking about it you maybe want to see a few more reviews on it I feel like you hear a lot of people still talking about it so you're considering it definitely let me know if you do in the comments but other than that if you enjoyed this one please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video